Oh, there it is. There it goes. Get it. Right here. There it goes. There's another one. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. As I'm sure you guys can probably tell, this video was filmed a little while ago. Um, too many green trees and not enough snow, right? We were called out to take care of a small colony of rats that had recently started growing in this family's yard. The rats were attracted to some fruit falling from their trees, and they wanted the rats taken care of before they got out of control. So I brought Rio and Onsa, and we were on the job. Oh, there it is! There it goes. Get it! Okay, there you go. Did you get it? Where'd it go? Went down this hole right here. Yeah. Oh, she's got one. The meat got one. There you go. There you go. Where'd the other one go? The meat got one. There's two holes over here, Joseph. Okay. Right here. There it goes. There's another one. Got it. Yeah. Bring me here. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Bring me here. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. So we got two so far. Yeah, they're they're small rats. Oh my! Yeah, let's get some of that, Joe. <laughs> hey there. There you go. There's one there, and there's one in here. Rio got. Rio. Oh, there's another one. She got another one. She's got another one. She just killed a second that I've seen. Is that four? I think it's four. Got at least three. Come on, Rio. Rio. Does she have it? Can you see? Yeah, she's got it. Rio. Good girl. Good. Got another one? So typically I don't like working a mink down holes with a leash on. Um, obvious reasons, it's really risky for them to get tangled. However, um, if you can hear the traffic really close by, back in the corner Rio was pretty safe because you know she had a long wall to travel down before she got near traffic. But at this end of the wall she was right near the end where she could run out into the road. So I wanted to keep a, uh, a leash on her for safety precautions just in case she uh, started heading out on the road, I could stop her. Yeah, the minks killed two. And the dog caught that one you saw. So we've got at least three big ones. Dude, what? Get over there. We're over here now. <laughs> Let's see. It's over here. Yeah, there's little babies. There's a mama somewhere around. Yeah, he's got, got three got of them. Three now. There should be another one. Yeah, there's one down here hole. somewhere, and she's gone down the hole a couple times, but yeah. But they're really little, so there might be a crack that she can't fit in. Hmm. There you go. There you go. Get him. Get her. There you go. Got him. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Rio and Onsa both did a great job. They each caught two rats, and after that, the family didn't see any more. So they were super happy that we came by. Now, if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty-gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry. It has 242 pages of valuable information for anyone who's considering getting a mink themselves or really just want to learn about this incredible little animal.